Hi everyone, welcome to this video where I'm going to cover how you can build out your RAG pipeline from scratch. Rather than using various frameworks, I'm going to show you how to the architecture design in each step of the process. So we'll start off with how you import your data, chunk your data, vectorize, understand your data and what kind of questions that you can ask, and then we jump to the fun part where you can generate text from your specific documents. Let's get into it. Verba has access to all of the Weavy documentation, blog posts, and YouTube videos. Users can ask questions that are specific to Weavy8 and our various features. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build this from scratch by starting off with the Reader Manager. The way that my colleague Edward has built out beautiful Verba is by assigning an assignment to each manager. So we'll start off with the Reader Manager, and what that's doing is it's taking the path of the file path that you may have. It's also taking in PDFs as an option for you to load in your custom data and start chatting with it in like a quick RAG application. Verba 0.3 is going to allow you to upload data directly on the UI. So in this example, I'm dragging in a document called Llama Index blog post, and I'm uploading it onto the front end. Um, what this is doing is it's going to import this PDF file, and then it's going to go through the process of chunking it. Now I'll jump over to the chunker manager. What this is doing is ensuring that Verba is retrieving the right context and not going over the token limit. Um, so depending on the model that you're using, because we are modularized, right now we're um, using OpenAI, but we'll eventually allow you to use the sentence transformers uh, model. So depending on the model, it has different uh, token limits. Uh, so what the chunking is doing is the first one being the word chunker. What the word chunker is doing is after each word, it's chunking it. So the is one word. Then next, jumping over to the sentence chunker. Once a sentence ends, it, that is chunk one. Jumping over to chunk two will be, be the beginning of the next sentence. Next is the PDF reader. And I have a video on the PDF and Markdown reader. And what this is doing is where there is a beginning of a uh, topic, uh, so like in a research paper, you have abstract and introduction. Abstract is one chunk, inter introduction is the second chunk, and so forth. Uh, moving on to the markdown reader. What that is doing is taking the heading, so it could be heading two, and just assigning it to chunk it based off of the markdown heading. Now that we have our chunks, we want to be able to embed our data. So like I said, in the first version, we only relied on OpenAI, but we're now adding more models for you to transform your data into embeddings. Uh, so we'll have the sentence transformer and the Cohere multilingual model. What is really cool about that is that you can import uh, maybe documents that are in Spanish and then chat with it in English, and it's still able to retrieve the documents that have um, the query that still have the documents that are similar to the query that you are looking for. Now that we have our data uploaded, it is chunked and we have vectorized it. Now the part that Verba is doing is retrieving the context that is important or relevant to your query. So the retriever manager is assigned the task to make sure that the query is that is relevant in blog post one is retrieved and it's not uh, retrieving uh, documents from document 10 per se. Um, this is the way to just ensure that your query is getting answered correctly. Now that we have the retrieved information, we can generate text from it. So in Weavy, we have our generative module where in step one, we are retrieving the blog posts or YouTube videos that are the most relevant. And then we jump over to the generation text of it. So maybe you have a query that you want to generate text from. So you take, given this blog post, I want you to write a Facebook ad about it, or maybe a poem. That is what the generation manager is doing. And as you can see, we have different models that are enabled with this. Um, so you can use OpenAI, you can use Cohere or Palm. And this is that like modularized ecosystem that we discussed and that we want people to have. So Verba is open source, and rather than just using the Weavey documentation, you can load in your own data. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next update for Verba. Bye!